Hi, my name is Fabiana Riggins, and I will be doing ankle palpations, ranges of motion, anatomy, and ankle special tests. I will begin this video with three ranges of motion, starting with active. One, active plantar flexion. Two, active dorsiflexion. Three, active inversion. Four, active eversion. Now, passive. One, passive plantar flexion. Two, passive dorsiflexion. Three, passive eversion. And four, passive inversion. Now, resistive. One, resistive plantar flexion. Two, resistive dorsiflexion. Three, resistive inversion. And four, resistive eversion. I will also be palpating the major sites of the ankle. This is where the deltoid ligaments are located. It will always be on the medial side of the ankle. Next is the calcaneus, or also known as the heel, the talus, the medial malleolus. This is where the fibula ends. The lateral malleolus. This is where the tibia ends. These are the metatarsals. These are the phalanx, or also known as toes. Anterior talofibular ligament, or ATFL, Posterior talofibular ligament, calcaneal fibular ligament, tibia, fibula, Achilles tendon, gastrocnemius. Now I will be demonstrating the special tests of the ankles. I'm going to be demonstrating the bump test. The key is to use one hand to hold the leg stable. Then use the free or dominant hand to bump the calcaneus with force. If the patient feels pain, it indicates that there could be a possible fracture on the tibia or fibula. Now I'm going to demonstrate the anterior door test of the ankle. The patient should be sitting upright with their ankle hanging off the table. Place the non-dominant hand above the ankle joint to stabilize the tibia. Then place the dominant hand on the calcaneus and have the patient's foot lie flat against the examiner's forearm. Next, pull the heel up towards the examiner's body. If the test causes pain or the anterior drawer draws forward more than normal, there is a possible tear in the ATF ligament. The posterior drawer test. Similar to the previous test, the patient should be sitting upright with their ankle hanging off the table. Place the patient's foot on the examiner's thigh to help maintain a neutral position of the foot. Then, use the non-dominant hand to stabilize the tibia posteriorly. Place the free hand above the talus and apply downwards pressure. A positive test would mean pain for the patient. If the test is positive, there is a possible tear in the posterior talofibular ligament. The squeeze test. The patient lays flat on their back. Use both hands to compress the tibia and fibula together. Continue to move up and down the leg while squeezing. A positive test will indicate pain and there could be a possible fracture of the tibia or fibula. Eversion tailored tilt. The patient should continue to sit upright with their ankle off the table. The examiner will use their non-dominant hand to stabilize the leg right above the joint line. Next, grasp the calcaneus with the dominant hand, letting the foot rest on the forearm. After, evert the calcaneus. If the patient feels pain, this could indicate a possible tear in the deltoid ligament. Inversion Taylor Tilt. The inversion Taylor Tilt test entails the same steps as the eversion Taylor Tilt test. The only difference is, instead of everting, Invert the calcaneus. A positive test concludes a possible tear in the calcaneofibular ligament, or CFL. Kliger's or external rotation test. Have the patient sit upright on the table with their ankle off the table. Stabilize the tibia. Make sure it does not rotate or move. However, do not squeeze. Then, grasp the foot 
and externally rotated. This is not to be confused with eversion. If there is pain, ask the patient where the pain is located. If the patient points to the medial side of their ankle, this could indicate a possible deltoid sprain. If the patient tells the examiner the pain is higher up near the tibia or fibula, this could indicate a possible ATFL tear. Cotton's test. Have the patient hang their ankle off the table. Use the non-dominant hand to grasp the tibia posteriorly. Use the free hand to cup the calcaneus. Then apply force to the calcaneus laterally. A positive test indicates pain and could be a possible ankle sprain. The Thompson's test. Have the patient lay on their stomach with their foot hanging off the table. Squeeze the gastrocnemius. This tests the Achilles tendon and the foot should plantar flex slightly. If the test is positive, the patient should feel pain and could indicate an Achilles tendon rupture. The deep vein thrombosis test or Homan sign. This test is a medical emergency. If this test concludes positive, please immediately call 911. Have the patient lay on their back. The examiner will slowly place their foot into dorsiflexion. If the patient feels pain and their pain site is tender, red, or hot to the touch, this indicates a blood clot in the area. Again, if positive, send the patient to the hospital 